we are given 2xy cubed equals 8 and dy dt equals negative 3. We're asked to find dx dt when x equals 2. To begin, we differentiate both sides of the given equation with respect to t. On the left side of the equation, we have a product of two functions. Let's let the first function be 2x and the second function be y cubed. So let's let 2x equal the function f and y cubed equal the function g. Because we have a product of two functions, we need to apply the product rule to differentiate with respect to t, which gives us the first function 2x times the derivative of the second function with respect to t. The derivative of y cubed with respect to t is 3y squared times dy dt. Notice here we're applying the chain rule because we're differentiating with respect to t and the term is a y term. And then we have plus the second function y cubed times the derivative of the first function with respect to t. So we first differentiate with respect to x. The derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2, and then times dx dt. Again, we are applying the chain rule because we're differentiating with respect to t, and the term is an x term. And then we have equals on the right side. The derivative of 8 with respect to t is 0. And because we're trying to find dx dt, we now solve the equation for dx dt. Before we do this, so let's go ahead and simplify. First term, we have 6xy squared dy dt. Plus, here we have 2y cubed dx dt. And now we isolate the dx dt term by subtracting 6xy squared dy dt on both sides which gives us 2y cubed dx dt equals negative 6xy squared dy dt. Next to solve for dy dt, we divide both sides by 2y cubed. Simplifying, we have dx dt equals on the right side, we can simplify. Six and two share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. We can also simplify y squared over y cubed. There's one extra factor of y in the denominator. So the y squared simplifies to one, the y cubed simplifies to y to the first. So now we have negative three x dy dt in the numerator. and the denominator simplifies to y. So now we can almost find dx dt. To find dx dt, notice we need x, dy dt, and y. We know dy dt is negative three, and we know x equals two, but we don't know y. In order to find y, we need to substitute two back into the original equation and determine y. Which gives us two times two times y cubed is equal to eight. Simplifying, we have 4y cubed equals 8. Dividing both sides by 4, we have y cubed is equal to 2. And now to undo the cubing, we take the cube root of both sides of the equation, or raise both sides of the equation to the 1 -third power. I'm going to go ahead and take the cube root of both sides of the equation. Which gives us y is equal to the cube root of 2. Now we can find dx dt because we know x is equal to two, y is equal to the cube root of two, and dy dt is equal to negative three. So we have dx dt is equal to negative three times x, which is two, times dy dt, which is negative three. I'll divide it by y, which we now know is the cube root of two. Simplifying, we have 18 divided by the cube root of two, which is the exact value of dx dt. Let's also get our decimal approximation in four decimal places. So going to the calculator, we have 18 divided by math. Option four gives us the cube root. The radic hand is two and enter. We have approximately 14.2866. I hope you found this helpful.